Give me the end, Aaron. This, 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 this is what no nicotine do to motherfucker. Ah! Just one juicy little zin. Oh, it couldn't hurt, right? Ah, just, oh, just one just juicy little lip pillow right there. Just a sixer. Just right. It wouldn't hurt nobody! Oh. Gentlemen, it's like day 16 with no nicotine and I don't even want any. Like if there was just like a tin of six milligram wintergreen zin sitting on my desk, I wouldn't even like, it, I wouldn't even look at it. Cap. No! Gentlemen! The wheel of mutt! What was I gonna say after that? I started that sentence like there was multiple things to say there. I'm losing it! I'm losing it! I'm losing it! You're fine. You're fine. You can do this. Fuck! Gentlemen! It is Wheel of Mud episode number three. And you might be confused. Last episode, I decided to play two games. I just said, fuck it, we ball. Our current record is two and one. We dominated the first game of the season. I got my cheeks clapped in the second, but I caught a rage quit dub in the third, which means best case scenario at the end of today, we're four and one. Take a look at our team, our top five players, Derek Stingley, CJ 2K, Wes Welker, Devon A. Chan, and Amonra St. Brown. I'm not gonna lie. We are skill position heavy. We've got a ton of weapons, but we don't have the fundamentals, the base, the core of a good organization. I got Nick Gargle Gulo at left guard, and whoever this fraud is at left tackle. I have the impoverished welfare version of Sam Laporta at tight end, and I've got whoever this bum is at fullback. Defensively, I couldn't even tell you who half of these homeless plumbers are. This defense sucks, and if we want to win a Super Bowl, we gotta revamp it. Low key, I have no fucking clue what I was gonna say. I have no idea what I was gonna say. Why do I keep doing that? Today's gonna be a good day, baby. We're gonna get a good wheel spin. Come on! Come on! Oh yeah! Yeah! Campus heroes are just not it. Now, this is kind of like a redemption wheel spin right now, though, because I got Elijah Vera Tucker out of this last time, except we lost the game and we lost him. So maybe we could redeem ourselves and hang on to whatever player we're about to pick up. I'm getting a Madden dog. Now, how good is Quay Walker in real life? I don't know. I don't watch Packers games because I actually care about watching good football, so I watch the Detroit Lions. Uh, but Quay Walker, 85 speed, six foot four. This man was built to be a user middle linebacker. Now, we do have Charles Haley. This might mean that I could actually use her Quay Walker and put Charles Haley at a true linebacker spot, which is not a bad idea. And I think that is what I'm gonna do. All right, let's get Quay Walker in here. Get Charles Haley at left outside linebacker. All right, beautiful. So my user middle linebacker is now Quay Walker and Charles Haley is at left outside linebacker, which is where he's wanted to be this entire time. Our second wheel spin, dude, I gotta work on the left side of this offensive line. Or a tight end. Or a tight end would be a really good spin here too. Two of the newest promo packs. It's just gonna come down to what we get here. The newest promo is Breakouts. Breakouts is the newest promo in this game. The Breakouts packs give you 280 plus breakout players and 170 overall rando. I'm gonna be honest. I, I, so Devon Achan is in this promo, right? But I don't really know who else is. That is a really good pull. 75 left guard. Here's our breakout player right here. That's not gonna help us. Will McDonald and our second breakout player, Byron Murphy. That is a big upgrade. We do not have a true D tackle right now. So we'll take that. All right, first pack did us very good. If by pure chance there wants to be a left tackle in here, I'd be a happy camper. Oh, a dupe already is dog shit. An outside linebacker and this is John Michael Schmitz, who could play at left tackle, couldn't he? All right, at left guard, we'll throw Aaron Banks. At left tackle, we'll throw John Michael Schmitz, who's a 74 overall over there. And at D tackle, we can put Byron Murphy and finally have a true D tackle on this lineup. This is our third and final wheel spin, bro. Is Jarrett Stidham gonna be our quarterback this season? It's actually possible. Ooh, is there a Legends quarterback? I know there's a Michael Vick, but I'm pretty sure he's a limited. All right, what are our options? There's Sean Taylor, Reggie Wayne, Marshall Folk, Ken Houston, Wes Welker, Jason Taylor, Brian Erlacher, Greg Olson, Randy Moss, Cromarty. Dude, I've been wanting a tight end for so long. We gotta pick up Greg Olson here. Jared Stidham is still our quarterback. I repeat, Jared Stidham is still our quarterback. With Spencer Rattler, we're 1-0. With Jared Stidham, we're 1-0. With Patrick Mahomes, we're 0-1. You can make your own inferences. All right, Greg Olson. Olsen, the starting tight end. We're rocking an 81 overall. The team is looking a hell of a lot better. There's only one silver left on offense. That's at fullback. On defense, I mean, there's a ton of really shitty guys, but there's no silvers left. But we're looking good right now, gentlemen. Sitting at two and one. And of course, we've got the challenge wheel as we load into this game. It's gonna be a big one. These packs have been really strong right now. So I'd love to complete this. Ooh. 
Ooh. I love this one. Especially with Devon Achan. Last game, we had eight carries for 28 yards. So we weren't even close. But we've definitely completed this before. Our top three, CJ, 2K, Stingley, and Welker. Micah Parsons, Reggie Wayne, Earl Thomas. That's a good team. So we got to average more than 5.5 yards per carry with our halfback. So we need some strong ground game today. I honestly play a lot better when I have a strong ground game. I don't feel so obligated to throw passes that are questionable. Devin Hester with Paul Krause lead blocking. I do not like this. Oh, shit. Going crazy back there. I'm going to go on Ken Houston here. Ken, Ken Houston's my sub linebacker right now. He's got this low drag here. He throws. What? What just happened? And he's in no huddle right now. Getting up to the line fast. Oh, I'm on Lawson. This is not who I want to be on, but I got to stay with it. And he throws another laser beam. Jesus, he just scored in a minute five. All right, he scored quick. That's fine. It's a lot of scoring in this game. I'm going to run a really interesting hatback counter here. Greg Olson is pull blocking. Jesus, his team is cracked. It's got no one on A-chan, and I can't even get the ball off to a check down. Come on, we all right, boys. We all right. Here's the user. Yep, same play. Pass in to CD Lamb is caught fourth and four. He's going to be in the same defense. There's Wes Welker right over the top. Makes an insane grab. Fourth and four. That's scary. That can't be right. I'm going to go into Aminra St. Brown. Problem right now is my challenge wheel. Yeah, look at that. We get great blocks on that one. All right, second and nine. Jesus, what is that? Third and ten. Ooh, what a play! Holy shit, Jared Stidham. That's a crazy first down. Now first and ten. Go play action. And look who's wide open. Devon Achan. I don't really care about the animations. I can still play ball. Greg Olson. Greg Olson. Greg Olsen's down at the one. Let's go. I'll be honest. He probably knows exactly what I'm doing. He does? CJ2K can't power his way through that? Now third and goal from the one. Damn, can I really not get this? I'm going fullback dive from the one to my silver fullback. Fourth and goal. Silver fullback. Dude, he jumped over the top and just got... Did you just get handled up there? What happened? Honestly, though, bro, if you can't get a yard, you just don't deserve to win. Ooh! Derek Stingley! He got scared in the pocket, threw a pick. Hey, that's why you go for it. It's never that hard to get it back. And wait a minute, we low-key could, like... We could use this clock so efficiently now, although CJ2K might be a touchdown. He's not a... T oh, my God. He's so wide open. Just he's got a fucking God Squad player at every single position. I'm getting dominated. CJ2K was so open there. CD Lamb. CD Lamb, where the fuck are you throwing? What the fuck? With your feet set, Jared Stidham? You can't throw a 40-yard streak? High schoolers can throw that. There's CJ2K. That wasn't even a good ball. Oh, my fucking God. Are you serious? And he breaks that tackle. And now you're gonna... That is such unbelievable horse shit. Are you fucking kidding me? I miss a wide open touchdown. You throw a dog shit ball, then you fumble. Then you break a tackle and house it. That's such bullshit. For the record, this is the same thing I just ran, but watch him walk it right up the middle. That's crazy. Dude, I swear, some games you just get fucking hoed. He's got the limited Tyreek Hill. This guy has the best player in every single position. <laughs> if you get dead stop juked by 69 speed Jarrett Stidham, then you might lose the game. I'm going to be honest. I think I have a chance now. Okay, so this is where I had CeeDee Lamb last time. I still... I mean, he's got him by a bit. I have a step on him. And then all of a sudden he glitches in front of me. Please. Can I house this? I kind of have to. I got 11 seconds. This guy's playing like shit. He's just getting fucking handed the game right now. CJ 2K. Beautiful route. Timeout. We got five seconds here. 
Get down! Jesus! Barely get that timeout off. I will take my field goal now. 3 to 15. I think I get the ball here. Uh, it's, it's not going my way right now, but I know it can. All right, we got no choice but to make a comeback here. First and 10. First play out of half. I do want to score quickly. We're going to go down to CJ2K. Stidham is not having a good game right now. It's just been, it's been a rough one for us. I go CJ2K again. Can't break that one. We'll go third and one. I'm going to hand this off inside zone. Oh, and it looks really, really, really good. Three minute quarters is so tough. It's so tough to, to fumble at all. Make any turnover is so detrimental. That fumble six is really getting us in trouble right now. We can make this game 10 to 15 here. Then we just got to come up with a stop. That zone coverage, I can't get out. Jesus, Clay Matthews. Beautiful. Oh, damn, nice play with uh, Cam Chancellor. Dude, fuck you. God, run this pussy-ass blitz. Can we just watch this? It's just looping horse shit. Fourth and 12, did a massive play. Can we get it? Was his third interception of the day. Jesus, look at CJ. Switches off. There's CJ 2K on a nice pass. Thank you for not fumbling. Need a really big play. Oh my god, he's blitzing three. I'm gonna freak out. I'm getting so pissed. He's not even sending big blitzers. They're just flying at us. I, I can't even set up the route. That was a touchdown to Amonra St. Brown. Second and 10. There's DB Fire. I'll have Wes Welker. Thank you. Once again, dude, the classic. A fumble six early on is going to determine this game because it's three minute quarters. And now the game's damn near already over. He's been throwing the drag out of this a lot. It's Tyreek fucking Hill! He's the smallest guy in the NFL! Let this guy chew clock on your three minute fucking quarters. Get me out. Let me take my loss and go play a new game. Great defense. Fourth and six. Does he punt this football? I doubt it. Fourth and six. This is for the ball game right here. He's got a lot on that right side! What the? Oh my god, it's a pick six! 10 to 15 with a minute 17. We can still win this ball game. First and 10! He's running DB Fire 2. Sherman's gonna blitz off the left side and he's gonna loop around. Beautiful looking. Oh my god, he's a fucking linebacker. Push him! Second and five. Opportunity to win this ball game. Maybe the power of negativity is gonna win us a game today. Second and five. I'm just going a quick one into CJ2K. We'll take the first down. That's a beautiful pass and a beautiful catch. He's not running DB Fire 2 for the first time all game. I'm in run. Oh my god, he's blitzing two fucking people. He's blitzing two fucking people. I have five offensive linemen. You could triple team one and you could double team the other. And you got to me so fast that I can't throw a drag. No matter what you do, you can't take EA's dog shit fucking paws out of these games. Second and 10. Thank God I got the football off. That could have been so much worse. Ball into CJ2K. Third and inches. I'm calling a timeout. It's DB Fire 2. We know exactly what he's running. Jarrett Stidham Masterclass. Jarrett Stidham Masterclass. 28 seconds. It's a question of getting in the end zone or not. I've only gotten in the end zone one time today. And I've got to step up big if I want to do it again. This is man coverage, isn't it? Second and seven. 20 now? Eh, now it's feeling like maybe clock is a pretty big issue here. Second and seven, he's floating left side. He's gonna leave the dig? That looks so ugly. We gotta go. First and goal! Huge play! Snap the fucking football! Oh my god, what the fuck? That is the most blatant fucking pass interference! Oh my fucking god! He just mugged him! Oh my fucking god, are you kidding? That is the most comical fucking way to end a game. It's not enough that you gave him a fumble six. It's not enough that you're gonna stand there and hold my receiver and then I'll throw a pick six to a wide open Greg. That's fucking insane. Oh my fucking god. EA, you put out such a dog shit product year in, year out. 
It blows my mind. This dude completed five passes. He had three interceptions. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my fucking God. In what universe can you do this? Not only is this outright obvious defensive holding completely illegal, but he's wide fucking open. He is wide open to catch this ball and score a touchdown and that's what happens. You know why that happened? Because he got fucking mugged. Because he got criminally violated, sexually assaulted right here. That, that may be the most clear cut obvious EA decided who won the game that I've ever seen. We're back to Silver Sam Laporta at tight end. We're back to a very medium mediocre defensive line that puts our record at two and two meaning we need to win the next three straight games if we want to go to the playoffs and honestly i can't end on that game unbelievably infuriating i'm going right into the next game our first wheel spin is 2x mystery pack this could be a fun one also this wheel spin is two times mystery packs but it looks like they took the mystery pack out of the game this 100 percent used to be in the game instead we're gonna do these two re-rolls there's an 80 plus breakouts and an 80 plus game time i'll just do one of each so our first one is an 80 plus over overall breakouts player. I don't know what the big animation is. That actually kind of helps us. There'll definitely be a depth spot for him that will be useful. So we get a strong safety and then we get a game time player here. I kind of need all line. I don't, oh, that is really good. I do need a fullback. Dude, Jordan Howden is actually a really good strong safety. 85 speed, 88 excel. I'm going to be honest, boys. I think the script writers are just cooking. They started this season off insane. We've had some really frustrating losses, but we're not out yet. And until we're out, the season is not over. And maybe they know exactly what they're doing. Maybe this is all part of a redemption arc. Who knows? But our next wheel spin. Yes, sir. The 88 breakouts. I don't know how many there are. One of them is Devon Achan, who's been incredible on this team. Let's see what else there is, because we get one of our choice right now. There's Dalton Kincaid if we want a tight end. Anton Hairston if we want O-line. Kayvon Thibodeau for defense. There's Jair Brown at strong safety. I think this is an easy decision. We had Greg Olson. He was really, really good for us. 88 overall, Dalton Kincaid at tight end. Kincaid, 6 foot 4, 87. Evan's speed is so fast for a tight end. And I've been looking for a stud tight end. We're finally gonna get one here. Got an 88 tight end and an 88 running back now. I still need a quarterback. Jared Stidham was not good last week. Oh, oh, they keep teasing us with that jackpot, bro. They keep teasing us with that. 100K, I could take a quarterback right now. I think I got to take a middle linebacker here, though, because I no longer have a user. We lost Quay Walker. I think Jared Stidham's got to kind of get us to the playoffs, and then I'll be able to upgrade him as we get down the line. But there's too many holes on this team right now. I think we do need to go middle linebacker here. 100K will get me an 85 probably for just under a hundred thousand coins aka fred warner all pro fred six foot three middle line i mean you guys know fred warner he's the, he's the best middle linebacker in football he's super well-rounded stats he's fast he's six three it's a pretty obvious pick here considering i really need a middle linebacker oh aka avalanche of course we got the challenge with too i just need to lock in and win i'm i'm so frustrated right now that this is gonna take all my brain power to win this puppy right here Challenge is triple crown. Johnny Zins, baby. Johnny Zins. CJ Stroud. Shh, Jesus. It's winner go home, boys. Does it really matter what he's got? First and 10, gentlemen. It looks like a handoff to Saquon Barkley. Second and nine. Good start, defense. I'm on Stingley. Oh, wow. Nice taste. Ooh, Harrison Smith. Stroud's pretty fast. Damn, and Cheetah, dude. He's got a squad. I can't believe he just threw that pick. Great way to start a winner go home game. Please, let's use the ground game. Okay. That actually looked like it had a chance. Second and seven, though. I'm not scared of him. I'm not scared of him. Come on. HN is too damn fast. And we're in the end zone. He might have guessed pass there. That or Devon HN is just that fast. I am going to bring this left side and let's see if we can use those wheels. What? Good blocks, good. Good blocks, good. I suppose we did get a touchdown. I can only be so mad. First and 10. He's got the halfback row. <laughs> Dude, I am bagging him with Smith. Red zone scissors to the halfback. CJ Stroud, two interceptions. That's a fucking record. That's a record. That might be the quickest two-game episode ever. I mean, did I get my win? Yes. Am I satisfied? No. I'm still really frustrated about that first game. I mean, it's a big dub. It's just weird. To win that fast is very unsatisfying. But uh, I really needed to win, and I really needed to keep those players. So I am happy to take it. That gives us another spin on the Rage Quit wheel. And this time... Ooh. 
Plus one, one position. I think we use it on quarterback. I'm so sick of Jarrett Stidham. He has missed, this man has missed so many passes. I can't do, I can't do 74 deep accuracy anymore. So he's an 80 overall quarterback, which means I'd be able to get any 81 overall quarterback in the game, which isn't going to be a massive upgrade, but hopefully just one with better accuracies and uh, we'll be just fine. Okay, so Brock Purdy, same speed, significantly better accuracies. Brock Purdy is by far the option to take here. Brock Purdy, we need you, buddy. We need you. Gentlemen, we needed that win so badly, but we're still far from in the clear. We are three and two, meaning two more wins. We do make the playoffs, but any loss, it's over. Even if we make the playoffs, we got to win the wild card playoff game, win the NFC championship, and then we're in the Super Bowl, which means I got to go five and oh. In the next five games, we want a shot at a Wheel of Mutt Super Bowl. It was an ugly day today, dude. That was one of the most frustrating losses, but we got to move past it, get ready for the next episode, and win. I love you, boys. Thanks for watching, as always. I'll see you in the next video. Peace!